good start to the week on the practice field. They were focused in and um, I think they're excited about the opportunity to go out and compete again Saturday night. It'll be a big game. It's homecoming. It's a night game. Uh, you know, there's, there's implications down the road. They understand that. It's not something we talk about, but you, I can tell that they know and they're excited about being in this position. They've done a good job putting themselves here and I think they're going to they're gonna do all they can to take advantage of it. So I'm excited about that. What implications are down the road? Well, we stay in the hunt, you know. We're staying in the hunt, and that's uh, that's what we want to do right now is stay in the hunt. Do you notice any more pop on Kyle and Skip? No confidence in him, I guess? No. Nothing? <laughs> no, because he's been the same guy every day out here. And that's why I knew, or we felt very confident on Saturday that, he, that he'd put it through. He's, he doesn't change. He, uh, he's the same guy every day. He comes out here, he works his butt off. He uh, concentrates. Uh, he does his best. He works to get better, and, and that's what he's doing. Has there been anything you guys have done to, I don't know, kind of keep his confidence up over the week? Well, I, I mean, I mean, he comes out here every day and he works hard. I mean, when you work hard, then you gain confidence. You know, I mean, uh, when your teammates support you, you gain confidence. When you come out here on the practice field and you bang kicks through in front of your teammates, you may, you gain confidence. Uh, I, I've tried to tried to put him in situations in games where we feel like he can have success, you know, and not failures. I think it's important when you're early in your career, especially at a position like that where it just comes down to you. You can't hide that uh, that you experience some success early. So we've tried to do that with him, but. Uh, we don't, you know, we haven't sent him to, uh, you know, the, the voodoo doctor to talk about confidence or, you know, anything like that. He's just, he's a confident kid. So. Are those situations increase now that he, he was able to... That's a great question. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. You know, I think it's just a feel thing that you get during a game, um, looking in his eyes. Uh, look, I was not hesitant on Saturday uh, as, they, as we were driving down the field, my line of demarcation was the 35-yard line. If we'd have got the ball to the 35-yard line, I was going to put him out there for a 53-yarder, and I felt like he could make it. So uh, I, I still feel the same way. I was glad that it was a 33-yarder, and I thought that our offense did a tremendous job of getting it down there, especially that last play. That last play was key, uh, putting it you know, left middle on the whatever yard line it was, 15. And, uh, but I felt good from 35, that he, I, mean, I mean, the ball on the 35, the 53 yarder, excuse me. Can you talk about the play call on that, the penultimate play on the seven yard Jonathan Franklin run? Was it, was it supposed to gain that yardage or were you just kind of trying to set the ball? Oh no, we were, it was an inside zone play and uh, we were trying to gain as much as we could. Um, we didn't want to run anything wide, obviously, because we wanted to keep the ball between the hash marks. Uh, you know, every time I've asked Kaimi where he wants the ball, ideally, he says it doesn't matter. But uh, I know that he likes left middle. You know, we all know that. And Coach Olbrich did a good job of communicating to uh, Coach Mazzoni that, hey, we'd like it on the left middle if possible, but we're still going to run the best play in that situation. And uh, Jeff Baca got a great block, drove the guy down the field about 10 yards. And, uh, and Jonathan did a good job of finding the hole, securing the ball, getting down, and we were able to... I called timeout at four seconds. I told the guy I wanted the timeout at four seconds. Somehow the clock got to two seconds. No one's explained that to me yet. I'd like to. I'd like an explanation for that one because it does matter. I was pretty clear. I looked at the clock. I said timeout at four seconds, and you you couldn't piggyback that question when they came to you after the game to talk about the coin toss. Yeah, I I got a call uh, Sunday morning at eight o'clock from the Pac-12 apologizing for the uh, confusion at the coin toss, which was nice to. It's nice to hear them accept responsibility for it. What, what did they say? I really can't talk about that. What, was it wrong? Yes, they, well, that's what they told me. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Is they, all I can tell you is this. They apologized and accepted responsibility. What options can you uh, look at on your punt return at this point with the guys? Well, we had, uh, we had a number of guys out there today. Um, we had Shaq Evans back there. We had Randall Goforth back there. We had Ahmad uh, back there. We had uh, Steven back there. We had Figgy back there. Um, Andrew Abbott back there. Uh, Tevin McDonald back there. We had a lot of guys back there. Um, 
So we, you're actively well, learning. you know what, and you, and you know we're we're always doing this right now. But those guys stay out after practice for ten minutes every day and catch punts, and they're all lined up right now as we speak doing it. I even see Jordan Payton over there. there you, you know, are so you we are. We have not decided who's going to return punts for us. I can tell you that that Thiggy will be back there like he always is. Um, Devin Fuller was back there again today, uh, and those guys are working hard at it. You know, uh, Stephen feels awful about what's happened the last three weeks. They've all kind of been different situations, although the last two were fairly similar, that he, he lost him in the sun and just his judgment was not what it should have been, you know, and it's, it's, it hurts him. I mean, he takes it serious. He works his tail off at it. He's rather new at it. Uh, that's not an excuse for him, and he would never make an excuse, but, you know, it's not for lack of trying with that kid. I mean, he tries, he cares, he's serious about it. Um, he's just had a couple of games here where it hasn't gone well. And I just feel like for his psyche and for our team, it's best to just give him a little break. You know, I have no doubt that at some point in his career, he'll come back and be a, and be a great punt returner for us. Last week you talked about being able to close games when they come down to tight situations in the fourth quarter. What are you working on this week? What's going to be the key to... Being able to close. You never know, you know, you just you just never know. And that's why we practice situational football so often, you know, and you guys aren't out here on Saturdays, but on Saturdays, it's a big situation day for us. And, and we walk through different scenarios that can come up at the end of the game. And uh, you just never can anticipate what's going to happen in a game. And so what we try to do is be prepared for as much as we possibly can. But I think the most important thing, no matter what, is that you're mentally prepared and you put yourselves in those situations in practice so you know how to react. And so we try to do that as much as possible. You say that like we're slacking. We'd love to come out on Saturday. <laughs> no, I don't mean that you're slacking. I mean, that's kind of our day to, to, to you know, uh, put the finishing touches on things. And, we'll be happy to come no, out well, you're not allowed to. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, that's just a day for us to really focus. I and mean, we're always focused in, but it's the last, it's the last time we take the field. And... Uh, and we really, we really get situational on that day. It's more mental than anything. Did I say Saturday? Yeah, I'm, yeah I revert sometimes, don't I? I'm trying not to. I do mean Saturday. I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. The NFL's Saturday. Yeah. Well, it, that's slowly seeping away from me. I guarantee you that. I, uh, I, uh, on Thursday nights, if there's an NFL game or an NCAA game on, it used to always be NFL, and now it's always NCAA in our house. So that's the Big Bang Theory. In it's our house that's really that's great. So I enjoy it. Okay. Thanks. All right.